Today I want to talk about this. This is a new refilling lid that I've made for my IBC reservoir, which fills this wicking system behind me here, uh, and will help me calculate how much nutrients I have to put in. Okay, let's talk components. To start with, the float is just a cheap one from AliExpress. Uh, I'm using a three quarter inch or 20 millimeter uh, float. It's my preferred size. I know some people like the half inch, but uh, I like the 20. Um, so the float here has a little elbow to direct the flow. We're going up into a socket. The socket then has a nipple in it you can't really see it's trapped in there and that just sits between the socket of the elbow here and this end of the socket to keep the lid from coming out um, so the nipple then goes into this female to male elbow and then to a hose connection here which we can stick a little length of hose onto coming down this end of the hose is where we will connect the flow meter. Now the flow meter is designed to operate in this orientation. So water coming in through the female, out through the male, which is what we want here as the water flows towards the float. But your garden hose will generally have a male connector. So we have one of these little male to male adapters, which can go right in there. And then we are ready to hook this up to our hose and fill our IBC. All right, we've just finished. I've just disconnected the flow meter here. We are a little bit below a thousand liters, but that's all right. If we check our flow meter here, we've got 576.6 liters that we've put in. And so we can now go do the math on how much nutrients to add. Uh, if you've got a simple nutrient schedule of one gram of MPK and one gram of calcium nitrate per liter, then just add that in. So we've got 576.6 liters of water and we would add 576.6 grams of calcium nitrate, 576.6 grams of uh, your MPK solution. I'm using Yara's fertilizers, um, the Fertacare Tomato, and I'm adding additional Crystal K Plus, which is a potassium nitrate to that. So I am adding the Crystal K Plus at 0.35 grams per liter. So on top of the um, MPK solution and the calcium nitrate, I would need to do the math, which is just 576.6 liters multiplied by 0.35 grams per liter, which gives me 201.81 grams of the Crystal K plus that I need to add. All right, so we've got our calcium nitrate and our MPK plus Crystal K plus dissolving in some hot water here. And we're just gonna put the calcium nitrate in first. I've removed the float lid from the IBC, so I can just pour that one in, like so. Got a bit that hasn't dissolved, but these little jugs just fit right in. I can swish it around in there. Make sure that every last bit is out. Like so. Now, before I put this one in, I'm gonna actually give this a stir. I'm gonna show you how I stir up my ABC. So I have here a Ryobi inverter and a pump. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the pump in the IBC for a while to stir up the uh, nutrient that we've just placed in. All right, so the pump's been running for a while. We're gonna add our MPK solution and just leave it run to make sure that uh, the nutrients all thoroughly mixed. That is how I fill my IBC for my wicking hydroponic system. Uh, thanks very much for sticking around. I hope this has been helpful to you and I'll catch you next time on Degrows.